Good morning, and thank you for joining me, Coach Michael, on your Monday morning. I heard a statistic the other day that absolutely positively blew my mind about business to the point that I had to Google it just to see if it was correct. And the statistic was that 30% of business owners are in fear of going out of business. Think about that. Almost in a third of businesses that start a business are already fearful of going out of business. Now, when you think of that statement and you put yourself in the shoes of one of those persons, what type of decisions would you be making or not making because of that fear? Would you not hire the proper marketing people to create your brand and exposure so people can actually come see you to spend money to help build your business? Would you attempt to do your website yourself because, again, you were looking to save money? Would you not hire people for the right seats because you're afraid they're going to cost you money and drain your cash flow opposed to being clear on the value they bring to the organization to free you up so they can help you grow the business? What decisions are you going to make or not make because you have a fear of going out of business? But here's something you really need to think about in this equation. The only thing we can control is how we think. That is it. The mind is a very powerful thing if used correctly. And I do say if. Now in the book Think and Grow Rich, the first chapter is Thoughts or Things. And 13 principles of how to be, success, be successful, create wealth, abundance. But the first thing it talked about is how you think. And there's a phrase, what you think about most, mixed with emotion, backed by faith, will translate itself into the physical equivalent or reality. Now, with that in mind, it doesn't specify whether positive or negative, and it's impossible to have a positive and a negative thought at the same time. It's either or. You can't have both. So let's put it in a good scenario. If things are working, you're optimistic, you're doing, taking all the right action, you're thinking about being successful, that's the positive thought in your mind. You're mixing with an emotion, you're backed by faith because you're creating momentum. It translates into the physical equivalent of reality. Your business moves along nicely. However, if your thought is that you have a fear of going out of business, it's mixed with emotion because that, um, that thought itself is emotional and it's backed by faith because you're going to think of it and you're going to stop. You're not going to take the proper action and things are going to be slow in growth and you're going to continue to create the reality of exactly what you don't want. Trust me, my first year in business, I lost a brother that severely dented my mental attitude and it almost took me down. I had the amazing shrinking bank account. That was my mindset. I was thinking about it most. It was mixed with emotion. I was frustrated. I was dented. It was backed by faith because I had the amazing shrinking bank account and I was getting more of what I didn't want. I hired a coach, got my mind right, started thinking the other way and everything went the other direction. So be crystal clear on what you're thinking is what you are creating. So if you are one of those 30% that are in fear of your business, of your business going out of business, I hate to tell you, if that's the most dominating thought in your mind, you will create your destiny of exactly what you don't want. So if you're one of those that thinks this isn't the number one thing that you need to control, let's get it right. Because when you think right, just like when I mentioned a couple weeks ago, attitude, get your mind right, Get clear on the direction and the actions you need to take. And as long as you stay consistent day in and day out, you will get the results you're looking for. Does it happen overnight? No. Do you have to be persistent, tenacious each and every day to make sure you do what it takes? Absolutely, yes. But that's where the growth is and that's the results are. So be very careful about what you think because this statistic really rocked my boat when I heard it of how many people out there of thinking of how of where they're going in their business and 30% of them thinking they're going out of business well 
We know the statistics of how many businesses don't make it a year, five, or ten. And I guarantee a lot of those that are thinking it, unfortunately, are creating it. And if they thought differently in the beginning, maybe they would still be in business. I hope this has been valuable. I want to thank you as always for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. I want to wish you a productive and profitable week. Think right, take the action, and your business will thrive. Be well.